Can we imagine the final hour of Earth? What would it look like? In the beginning, there was only time, an infinite canvas on which the universe would paint its masterpieces. One such masterpiece was our Earth, born from cosmic dust and celestial fires about four and a half billion years ago. Life, a complex symphony of evolution, started its melody in the warm embrace of our oceans. Over eons, it composed a rich tapestry of diversity, changing the face of our planet forever. Then came the humans, a species with an insatiable curiosity and a knack for innovation. We learned to shape the world around us, to bend nature to our will, but with great power came great responsibility. Our actions began to cast a shadow on our home, altering the delicate balance of the Earth's ecosystem. From a barren rock to a bustling planet, Earth has come a long way. But what does the future hold? Every tick of the clock brings us closer to the Earth's final hour, but what events could lead us there? The possibilities are as vast as they are terrifying. Mother Nature herself could be the cause, with asteroid impacts or a violent shift in Earth's magnetic poles. These cataclysmic events have the potential to end life as we know it in the blink of an eye. But we humans are not without blame. The specter of nuclear warfare continues to haunt us, with the potential to bring about a nuclear winter that could extinguish all life on Earth. And then there's the slow, creeping danger of climate change, a man-made disaster that's already beginning to make its mark. And let's not forget our life-giving star, the Sun. In a few billion years, it will swell into a red giant and potentially engulf our planet. Many paths could lead us to the Earth's final hour. But the question is, can we change our course? If we cannot change our course, what would the Earth's final hour look like? Imagine, if you will, a world teetering on the edge of oblivion. The air, once filled with the music of life, now echoes with an eerie silence. Skies once blue are concealed under a cloak of smog and dust. Forests transformed into barren lands, oceans into acid baths. This could be our Earth's final hour, a testament to our actions or lack thereof. Yet even in this grim tableau, life in its tenacity persists. Humans, ever adaptive, might find ways to survive, perhaps beneath the Earth's surface or in biodomes, shielded from the harsh exterior. And there's also the tantalizing prospect of life beyond Earth. Could we as a species colonize other planets? The Earth's final hour could be a time of chaos and destruction or a moment of profound transformation. The choice, as it always has been, is ours. In the aftermath of the Earth's final hour, what comes next? We must ponder upon this question as it is not only thought-provoking but also a test of our resilience. Yes, our beloved Earth may face its final hour, but this doesn't mean an end to life. After all, life has always shown an uncanny knack for survival, hasn't it? Humanity, with its spirit of innovation, has already begun to explore the potential of colonizing other planets. Mars, for instance, is no longer just a red dot in the sky, but a beacon of hope. But what if life could evolve again on a devastated Earth? It's a possibility. Life started from scratch once, it could do so again. And let's not forget, our universe is vast and we're just a tiny speck in it. Who's to say that life doesn't already exist elsewhere? Even in the face of Earth's final hour, life may find a way to persist. As we contemplate the Earth's final hour, what does this mean for us now? It's a question that invites reflection, introspection, and a call to action. Our planet, this beautiful blue sphere hanging in the vastness of space, is our only home. And it's time we took better care of it. The importance of protecting our planet, of mitigating the impact of destructive human activities, has never been more critical. Our actions today, the choices we make, they're not just about us. They're about the legacy we leave behind, the world we want to hand over to the generations that follow. Think about your own impact on the Earth. What can you do to make a difference? Maybe it's as simple as recycling more, driving less, planting a tree, or educating others about the importance of sustainability. The Earth's final hour may be inevitable, but our actions today can shape the future for generations to come.